Steve Bing, rich, famous, well-connected Hollywood producer, is dead. How did he die? Well, he dropped some 27 stories from his apartment complex, uh, I believe in Hollywood or in L.A., uh, in that area. Uh, the word is that he jumped, and the official word is that he jumped because he was depressed, because of uh, the lockdown. He was uh, not, he wasn't seeing enough of people, he felt lonely, so he jumped. But there is no apparent, there's apparently no suicide note indicating that those were his motivations uh, or whatever his motivations might have been for jumping if indeed he did jump. And we don't know that he jumped, we just know that he fell. There's two ways of falling. You can jump or you can you can be pushed. You can be thrown, I guess. That's another, another way of uh, it being done. So, Steve Bing was uh, a mogul. He um, knew Bill Clinton very well. Bill, Bill Clinton wrote a tweet uh, talking about what a great guy he was uh, and, and how much he, he how, how saddened he is by his death. And uh, some of the responses to Bill Clinton's tweet are, are priceless. Uh, I would say they run uh, about uh, 10 to 1 uh, as far as uh, uh, people uh, not taking Bill Clinton seriously and uh, uh, and uh, pointing things out about Bill Clinton's own past, pointing things out about the unsavoriness of, of the Clinton Foundation and how all their friends seem to be dying and and so forth. Those, uh, those kinds of tweets in response outnumber the sympathetic ones considerably, which is, which is interesting. <clears throat> um, there you go. I mean, even on the, even on the cesspit that is Twitter, sometimes, uh, you know, a truth emerges, uh, uh, and, uh, the wall comes down between what they, what, what they want to tell us is the truth and, you know, what people who look a little deeper at things, uh, can, can see the, the problems with, uh, in what they try to tell us. All right, so Steve Bing also knew Jeffrey Epstein. He and Bill Clinton and uh, a couple other guys and, and Epstein all ran around together. Uh, there was a, there, there was an article, an old article from Gawker magazine, Gawker uh, uh, journal, I should say, an online journal, from way back in 2008. Um, before Epstein was really even a name. He was, it was around the time where, where he was facing charges the first time, but uh, he was basically just, uh, uh, just this mysterious figure who had a lot of money and hung out with a lot of underage girls, uh, uh, and had a lot of uh, high-powered connections. Well, Steve Bing hung out with, uh, with Epstein, he hung out with Clinton, he contributed to Clinton's uh, campaigns uh, to the tune of several millions of dollars, I believe. He was extremely wealthy. And yesterday he died after falling 27 stories from, uh, from his apartment. And it's been ruled a suicide. But again, there's no word about the reasons for it being a suicide. Uh, People say that that he was uh, uh, depressed because of loneliness, because of uh, because of the lockdown. But uh, I don't know. That, that just seems to be hearsay. Um, what else can be said about Bing? Bing was once married uh, to Elizabeth Hurley, uh, who uh, you might remember. I I I, I remember her best as uh, appearing in the first Austin Powers movie. Uh, and briefly in the second Austin Powers movie before she was revealed to be a fembot. Um, she was also, uh, together with Hugh Grant, uh, around the time that Hugh Grant had a 
uh, a mighty fall when he had uh, a tryst with a a uh, like a seedy um, black uh, uh, prostitute. It, it, this is like in the mid '90s. This is going back way, way back. Anyway, Elizabeth Hurley um, supposedly had uh, also also had relations with with none other than Bill Clinton. So uh, Bill Clinton and the Steve Bing are uh, what, what do they call them? Eskimo brothers, right? Uh, So-called Eskimo brothers. The the term comes from. Uh, the 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 setup that that they have the Eskimos have apparently what's it called um, I can't think of the name of it right now um, polyandry I, is that what it is polyandry uh, it's like polygamy except uh, a, a woman has more than one husband so uh, so uh, Bill Clinton and Steve Bing were Eskimo brothers uh, they both they both had uh, Elizabeth Hurley. Uh, and uh, and Bing had a a, a a child with Elizabeth Hurley, although I guess that was disputed because there was a paternity suit filed. Uh, all this degeneracy, all this uh, all this perversity, um, all this uh, sinful living, you know, uh, it's what we've come to know and expect from these people. So yeah, so he's dead. This guy. Why is he dead? Uh, is it just he was depressed, so he jumped? Story over. Or is there more to the story than that? One is reason. It is reasonable to for one to suspect that there is more to the story than that. Um, there are a couple of headlines. It's interesting to see how the mainstream news. Is covering this story. There are a couple of headlines that say, uh, you know, uh, conspiracy theories are 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 flying fast and furious uh, on Twitter uh, because of St Steve Bing's death. Uh, almost like they're like they're deflecting, um, like they're trying to say, oh, look at these crazy people with all their conspiracy theories, just because this guy committed this guy who was high powered and had all these powerful friends and knew Jeffrey Epstein and knew Bill Clinton uh, and uh, uh, and so forth uh, just because he mysteriously died um, there's all, all these all these foolish people wagging their tongues saying there must be something more to the story um, it's it's an it's an interesting way of handling it it's it's sort of like uh, Admitting that there is uh, that that uh, there is more there prob that it's reasonable to think that there's more to the story, but at the same time trying to uh, <clears throat> trying to make those who th who uh, who uh, point out or who discuss uh, the loose ends of the story, uh, trying to make it, make them out to be foolish for not just accepting the official account at face value I mean this is this again the sort of uh, the sort of thing that that we co have come to expect from the news media um, it's what they do uh, when they're not outright lying uh, they are deflecting from things that uh, they don't want people to talk about or that they somehow want to discourage people from talking about but the thing is with something like this you really can't help you can't help people talking. There are too many, uh, too many mysterious pieces to this puzzle. Uh, you know, anyone looking at this would, uh, with an inquisitive mind of any kind, is going to ask questions about this uh, this story. So, what do y'all think? What happened to Steve Bing? Why did it happen to Steve Bing? Why did he die? Uh, did he jump? Was he pushed? Uh, why, if he jumped, why did he jump? If he was pushed, why was he pushed? What's going on here? Let me know what you think. My name is Andy Nowicki, altrightnovelist.com, lowstatusnovelist.blogspot.com.